Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Yesterday, we worked on our theme and how we have a dark theme and light theme. Today, we want to save the, in the shared preferences the information if the theme is dark or light, and that the user, after he restarts the application, gets the theme that he deserves. So let's get into it. So if I go outside of the app and I close the app completely, and I go back again into the app, on startup, it will take the is dark mode true, and it will always start the app first in the dark mode. But this is not really convenient for the users. And they say, ah, is that really good? I want to be in dark mode. I want to save that information, or I want to be in light mode, and I want to keep that specification. There is no change in that. So for that, we have our shared preferences. And if we jump back into the shared preferences in the readme, we can read here how we can use it, for example, for increment counters. But now if something happens, we have to wait for an instance of this shared preferences. And what would happen if we go back into our application? And now inside of main, we would wait for something. So we import the shared preferences and do our main. We let that be an async method. What happens now? If I start now everything without errors, I hope, you most likely will see an error. And you can read, service binding default binary message was, was accessed before the binding was initialized. And for that, we have to call the Flutter, or widgets Flutter binding, ensure initialized first. So let's do that. Put that in front of the initialization of the shared preferences. And now we start our app again. And let's take a look no errors, and everything works fine. And now we have our prefs statement here. And inside of prefs, we want now to save our information here. Inside of the theme.dart, we want to access this prefs2, right? So we want to go here, access this shared preference. We make the whole thing asynchronous. And now what we want to do is we want to save also that. So we have here now a ternary operator. This will not help us anymore because we want to do more than just one sentence. I could make multiple ones, but I don't like that. So I would recommend to write now an if statement. We want to make this ternary operator into a normal if else statement. So I select this equal signs and press option enter. And there you have the opportunity to replace the conditional if else. And with one enter, we have immediately our thing. And inside of that, we want now to specify prefs dot set Boolean, we call it is dark theme to the value false. And the same thing we do for the else part, but with a true. And we still want to notify our listeners. So is there a problem that this is asynchronous? No, there is not. Because as you see, if I click on it, it still triggers everything. So inside of the login screen, I don't have to wait for it because we anyway are asynchronous in that part which is pretty neat. So if we go back into our main.dart, now we have this true here, but we don't want that. We want to get the Boolean value from the string that we want to enter. In our case, is dark theme. And now we can check the get bool will return us a Boolean, so we don't have to wait for it. And if I execute now everything and I close the app completely, <laughs> and I start it up again. We see the dark mode is selected. And if I swap to the green mode and I close it completely again and start it up again, we see that the mode that I selected is now saved. And if I swap the whole thing, it works. We can swap to the light theme and dark theme. Immediately we get the information and we can have inside of our theme provider all the information that we want to have. Of course, there would be a good option to also exclude these dark and light themes. So because they're getting usually very big, but all of that is there for creating our provider that changes our theme accordingly. All right, guys, we have now a swapping theme, which is one of the most important features for all of your apps. So dark theme, light theme is one of the biggest features ever. And everyone does it right now. 9gag, Reddit, 
Facebook, I think all the bigger apps, even Microsoft has it in Windows or Mac on iOS uh, and Mac OS. So you will be very good with uh, a dark mode and I can just recommend it. You know now how to implement it. You see it is way easier than you thought most likely. And if you want to see more about the provider package or anything like that, please leave it down in the comments and I will know it. Please leave a like button here. The subscribe button is on the right side. It would be amazing if you support me more. And this is always good if you are with me to, with that. And on top of me, you have two videos that you are interested in. So enjoy the rest of your day until tomorrow. See ya.